let's try this John Ada thing. All oh, right, I can't just. Can I? J. O. H. N. Um, enter. <laughs> That's adorable. Yay! Select floor. Well, I don't have the password for the one up top. Yay! That's kind of cool looking. Okay, now what? I'm pretty sure I can't do this without the extra pass. Yeah. Alright. Let's go get that extra password. Actually, no. Let's see what we just unlocked. Well, let's see. Should we get the extra password first? I'm so indecisive all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. What did I just unlock? Oh, I know what I unlocked. Okay, we can check it out. Why not? Alright, let's see it. Oh cool, it's it's stuff. Hey man, I'm all about stuff. However. What's that sound? Oh that's what that sound is. I I was afraid of that. Also my gosh, look at all the stuff in this room. That means I've gotta do another inventory room. Can you just get over here already? I can't see him and I don't wanna run into his open arms. Oh, his back's to me. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff in this room. He's not bleeding out. There we go. Alright, there is a lot of stuff in this room. What's this? There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Sure. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Okay. Good to know. A refueling device. Interesting. Oh, come on. I, I just had those on me. <sighs> okay. Effects. Mission Impossible. I feel like containment has not been uh, that, that good here. Maybe they should try wearing uh, clean room suits. <laughs> no kidding. There's a cozy little office. Should I set this guy on fire? What's my inventory looking like? Aww. Well, I should refill my gun. Refill. Reload. What is this? This slide filter. No. However, I will set this guy on fire so he can come back here later. I'm gonna leave this stuff for now, cause I wanna- What? Oh gosh, the sound of him setting on fire startled me. <laughs> so 
It's like, oh no, I set somebody on fire. Why is it sound like somebody's on fire behind me? Yeah, I want to keep my inventory open while I'm doing this puzzle. And then I can load up on stuff and go back to the item crate and save, I think. Let's just take a break. Let's see. Alright, pick it up. Sure thing. Put it up here. Do oh. Oh. Alright, so we got... <clears throat> we got... Gail Holland. Oh. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay, so we've got. I think it was. What was it? Clark David. So we got, got C. We got Gail Holland. Alright. So what do we got up here right now? Alex. Gotcha. So we're gonna put Clark up here. Okay. Alright. Can we do this, Chris? Can we do this? That should have worked, right? Right? What if it means the initials of the body parts and not their names? There's a switch here. I've been ignoring it the entire time. Well, now I understand it. All right. So we have got whatever that is, the lower intestine, what is that? Biology, not my strong suit. Oh right, the colon, yeah, okay, so we got colon, esophagus, no, isn't that the, I'm not going to embarrass myself, yes it is the liver, okay, so colon, esophagus, liver, And the lungs? Yay! Yay! Now so we're going back up- oh, I don't want to go that way. So we're going up there, let's go grab the junk from the other room. Actually, I don't think I have enough room for all of it. I still gotta shove an MO disc in there too. So much to do. Alright, let's grab this for the Slide filter. Uh, we'll grab the bullets, I guess. I'll come back for you, ink ribbons. Don't you worry. See a first aid spray and whatever this is. Dog on it. Oh, I know what's coming up. Sort of. Something I've been wanting to discuss for a while. Oh look, it's shotgun shells. I love this room. Where am I? How do I get in there? Can't see, it's so dark. How do I project? I must. No, I need to put the filter in, right? How do I filter? 
Okay, I guess I don't need to. Neptune! Just teaching me the names of everything. Yes! Yes! This is the picture I wanted to talk about. You know why? Besides the obvious reason? Because, look at that. Everybody else is all, you know, they're all buttoned up with their ties and their collars. Wesker's like, nah. Check me out, man. It's like, I know I'm hot. Check it. Got his shirt unbuttoned, like, halfway down his chest. He's rocking that lab coat. Just like, dude. All the ladies. Just all over him. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Just look how relaxed he is. He's just like, dude, look how amazing I am. I don't have to button my shirt up. In fact, nobody wants me to button my shirt up. This is a public service right here. Everybody just wants to look at my chest. And the rest of me. I'm just rocking this lab coat. <laughs> I love this picture of him. Like, you can get so much of his personality just from this picture. Because he's uh, the lead scientist in this picture. I believe he's the project leader. So nobody can tell him how he's going to be dressing. He's just rocking that. Also, I want to point out his pants are not black. They're like... Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're like a gray or maybe a beige tan color. That's right, people. When he's not, you know, on the job, as it were, as a, in a military or something that's oriented with, with physical violence, he dresses like a normal human being. He has a personality outside of, I'm gonna wear black all the time and be evil. Because by Capcom logic, if you're evil, you wear black 100% of the time. It's like you're color-coding yourself. Just look at that, he's not color-coded. He has pants that are not black. Okay. Maybe I'm just talking more? Is that an excuse to keep looking at this picture? That might be what's happening? We'll just advance the slide now. What the heck is that? No comment, Chris? You just literally saw a picture of, of Wesker. And you're like, and you just found out the identity of the, uh, the traitor? You're just chilling? Say something. Oh, I wonder if as soon as we leave this room we're gonna meet him up and meet, meet with him. Be like, Wesker, it was you all along, wasn't it, Wesker? And he'd be like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, Chris, so slow to catch on. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I want to pick- Oh, Is that what that barcode was for? I don't know, can I- can I not do that? Let's look at the barcode again. Yep, bum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum Ha ha! Bum ba dum ba dum Okay, we got- That's- A lot longer than we got room for. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. I don't know how I'm, I've got it. I've got a filter. Can I use it? Oh, yeah. Ha-ha! Eight, four, six, two. Eight, four, six, two. I can do it. Eight. Four, six, two. Yeah? Yeah! Alright, what's. We got MO disc. Oh, I don't know what I, what I should pick up and what I shouldn't pick up. I got one inventory spot. Let's see, what's in here? What the crud is that? Well, you take that. Oh gosh, I want that so much. I want everything in this room. You can use it to view all types of film and videos. I love the reflection. Look at this. There is no excuse whatsoever for any game made in this decade not to have functioning reflections. Do we get a cutscene with Wesker? Is he gonna be like, oh hi, Chris, did you see a picture of me with my shirt unbuttoned? Incredibly not. Alright, let's dump our junk off. Okay, let's get the zinc ribbon and shove that demo disc in there. Let's see what secrets this area holds. Use it. 
Oh, I understand. I need to find two more of these. There you go. Oh, it did, huh? What did it unlock? Not that. Who knows? Well, we'll find out next time on The Exciting Adventures of Chris and Wesker.